we'll see some more additional problems. Yes, phi that is permutation of phi element. Suppose alpha is equal to 1 is mapped to 2, 2 is mapped to 3, 3 is mapped to 1, 4 is mapped to 4, 5 is 5. Then beta is equal to 1 to 2, 2 to 1, 3 to 5, 4 to 3 and uh, 5 to 4. Then find out alpha beta, beta alpha, alpha square, beta square, beta inverse, alpha inverse and show that alpha into beta whole inverse is equal to beta inverse into alpha inverse. So how do we do this is, so alpha beta is obtained by first starting from alpha, so 1 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 1, so 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 5, so 2 goes to 5. Then 3 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2, so 3 goes to 2. 4 goes to 4, 4 goes to 3, so 4 goes to 3. 5 goes to 5, 5 goes to 4, so 5 goes to 4. So this is your alpha beta. So likewise for beta into alpha, you start from beta and then go to alpha. So 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, so 1 goes to 3. 2 1, 1 goes to 2, so 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 5, 5 goes to 1, so 3 goes to 1, 4 to 3, 3 goes to 5, 5 goes to 5, so 3 goes to 5 here, Four to 3, 3 to 1, so 4 to 1, 5 to 4, 4 to 4, so 5 to 4. This is your alpha, beta into alpha. Now how to do alpha square? Alpha square is nothing but alpha into alpha. So, so 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3. So 1 goes to 3. Goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, 2 goes to 1. 3 goes to 1. 1 goes to 2. So, 3 goes to 2. 4 to 4. 4 to 4. So, 4 to 4. 5 to 5. 5 to 5. So, 5. So, this is your alpha square. Similarly, beta square, beta into beta. So, 1 goes to 2. 2 goes to 1. So, 1 goes to 1. So, 2 times in the same table you have to see. Then, 2 to 1. 1 to 2. So, 2 to 2. 3 to 5, 5 to 4. So, 3 to 4. 2 to 3, 3 to 5. So, 4 to 5. 5 to 4, 4 to 3. So, 5 to 3. So, this is our beta square. Next, how to find beta inverse? So, beta inverse, you have to do it like this just uh, carefully observe so this is my beta so beta inverse will be this will be my first row this will be my second row so one goes to two so one goes to two two goes to one so here three so its inverse will be four the inverse will be so, 4, its inverse will be 5. 5, inverse will be 3. <coughs> now, for alpha inverse, so for 1, the inverse is 3, its top element. For 2, similarly, for 2, it is 1. For 3, it is 2. For 4 it is 4, 5 it is 5. Get the second uh, row for the required element, go to the top, that will be the inverse. So this is your alpha inverse. Now we have alpha into beta, its inverse we need to find. So it will be in alpha into beta 1. If you have to see the first row and go to the top row. So, 1 for 2 it is 3. For 3 
for 3 it is 4, 4 it is 5, for 5 it is 2. So this is your alpha into beta whole inverse, this inverse. So 1 inverse is 2, 2 inverse is 3, 3 inverse is 4, 4 inverse is 5, 5 inverse is 2. Now beta inverse into alpha inverse. So this is my first, first entry, then this one will be my second. So it is the same way, first start from beta inverse, so 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1, so 1 goes to 1. Next, 2 goes to 1, 1 goes to 3, so 2 goes to 3. Start from beta inverse, so 3 to 4, 4 to 4, so 3 to 4. Then 4 to 5, 5 to 5. So 4 to 5. 5 to 3, 3 to 2. So 5 to 2. Now you know that alpha into beta whole inverse is equal to beta inverse into alpha inverse. So you can observe the second row are same. This is how we can show that they are same. Lagrange's theorem. Next, it states that if G is a group with order n, that is the number of elements in uh, G is n and H is a subgroup of G with order m, then m divides n, that is the order of group divides the order of, order of subgroup divides the order of the group. 